What's some automation stuff that you have or can recommend? Uh, what do you want to, anything can be automated. I don't know, what do you want to automate? I think the average person doesn't need to like automate stuff on their computer. I don't know, That's, I, I, that's it works for like business. Do you, what do you want to automate? <laughs> How do I automate stream opening up when you go live? You'd have to have something running that's checking constantly if I went live. So it could check from a lot of different places. It could look for a tweet made by me that has a, a Twitch link in it. If it has a Twitch URL, then then it sees that. But you'd, you'd have to have something running that's checking something. You could have something running. Actually, can you run it in my Discord? Would you be able to do this? Something could run that checks uh, actually you could so here's here's the way you could do it i always post in the announcements channel in discord when i'm live right sometimes i post just words in there to keep you updated but i also post my link when i'm live right and when i post when i'm live i hit the publish button which means that you could actually have a channel this is not perfect automation it's just really easy for someone to do if they're not a programmer you could have your own discord server with a channel in it that always gives you push notifications it won't automate uh, opening a tab but it's just if you want that. You could have it so that it gives you a push notif every time I hit publish on an announcement in my Discord. And you could have like multiple VTubers that you like uh, if they if they publish their posts. So it would send it out to people that are following those. Since it's like a promotional channel, you could do that. It's not actual automation, but if you're looking for something to help you be just more aware of when people are going live, you know, then that, that would help you without you having any knowledge of how to set this stuff up or any program or anything like that. So that's just advice for people that don't really, don't really know how to build tools like that. I would say it's cool to go learn, but if you don't want to, yeah, just set up your own Discord, give it a couple channels in there, have one of them be like, Giga is live. <laughs> right name it that i think it's a cool feature that discord's got i actually have one server like that it's my notifications server um and i have it pulling some announcement channels from certain servers where i actually want to know what's happening when it happens i do want the notif and i have it send me notifs and that's my that's my little uh my setup it's not anything incredible but it helps <laughs> OBS stuff you automate or VTuber stuff? Yeah, for example, when I want to stream, I have a button on my stream deck that when I press it, it opens everything. Every program that I need open, it opens uh, any tabs that I need to the right URL. Um, and I just push one button and it's just a stream setup button. So that's nice. So it opens vtube studio it uh well actually it checks it it tries to open steam if it's not already open so it opens steam and then opens vtube studio and then it opens obs and then it uh opens discord and navigates to my announcements channel um it opens a tab with my stream manager on there and then it opens like three other programs that i'm running while i'm streaming but yeah I like that. I like that. That's that's uh, like basic automation. You could do. You don't need a stream deck to do that either. You could do it. There are certain like software based things that replace stream deck if you just want it in software where you could run a little program that does the same exact shit. It's just not physically pressable buttons because there's no hardware, you know, <laughs> linked to it. But uh, you could do that. You could actually um, you can buy like a little separate numpad and you can link that you could keybind stuff from that software if you use uh, there's a lot of different ones you could use but you could link a button from a software to a new key on your numpad <laughs> and then use that I, I've, I've done some things in some uh janky ways some janky ways they anytime something uh, an obs api adjusts and now like all your shit breaks it's okay stream deck will have within the same day an update right that just patches all that through and it's fine so i tend to stick to my actual stream deck to do these things because when I did everything myself, it felt good to be like, oh yeah, I set this up how I want, it's perfect. But then shit just keeps breaking because all of these different programs and all these different things update differently and how they interact with each other all the time. And that gets really annoying, really annoying. So yeah, I like my stream deck. I like it.